As Yellowstone heads into the intense second half of season 5, fans are finally seeing the real villain emerge, and it's not who everyone expected. Jamie Dutton, the adopted son of John Dutton, has often been at the center of conflict and suspicion. However, season 5 reveals that he's not the ultimate mastermind behind John Dutton's tragic end. While Jamie has certainly played a role, the true villain turns out to be someone else with a much darker agenda. As Yellowstone Season 5 continues, viewers are immediately thrown into the aftermath of John Dutton's staged death at the governor's mansion. The scene leaves Beth, John's fiercely loyal daughter, questioning the circumstances. Though Case and Beth begin mourning, Beth senses foul play. As the story unravels, it becomes clear she is onto something. Someone is indeed behind her father's untimely end and it isn't Jamie. Despite the suspicions surrounding him, Jamie isn't the direct orchestrator of John's death. His reaction, grieving at the official announcement and struggling to maintain composure, shows that he's as shocked as everyone else. Jamie's history with John is complex, he yearns for independence but has always craved his father's approval. Driven by these conflicting emotions, he may have inadvertently helped set events in motion but he's not the primary culprit. The true mastermind behind the plot is Sarah Atwood, a cunning attorney from Market Equities. Played by 1883 actress Dawn Olivery, Sarah is introduced as a cold and calculating figure brought in by Market Equities to undermine John's leadership and defend their financial interest. The show reveals her chilling plan to eliminate John Dutton through a secretive meeting with an assassination contractor, emphasizing her ruthlessness. Her meticulous preparation, from removing personal items to discussing the details in a high-security environment, demonstrates her commitment to ending John's influence over Montana politics. From the moment she sees Jamie's frustration, Sarah begins to manipulate him. She senses his unhappiness when John becomes Montana's governor, capitalizing on his vulnerability. Sarah plays into Jamie's desire for independence, convincing him that, with her guidance, he could achieve his dream of becoming governor and stepping out from under John's shadow. By entering a romantic relationship with Jamie, Sarah secures his loyalty, using his resentment and longing for validation to her advantage. While Jamie isn't without fault, he's also a victim in many ways. His relationships throughout Yellowstone have often been built on manipulation. Despite trying to create his own path, Jamie is frequently pulled back by his need for approval, leaving him susceptible to people like Sarah. By agreeing to her scheme, Jamie becomes a part of John's downfall, though Sarah is ultimately steering the ship. Jamie's journey has been one of inner conflict, torn between independence and his family's approval. With John gone, Jamie has an opportunity to reassess his loyalties and prove himself. Redemption is possible but would require immense sacrifices. To regain his sibling's trust, especially Beth's, Jamie would need to give up his ambition and do everything in his power to protect the ranch and his family's legacy. Though he is in a position to help as Montana's potential new governor, reconciliation won't come easily. Beth, who has never forgiven Jamie for past betrayals, may stand in the way, leading to a final confrontation. As season 5 builds to its dramatic end, Jamie's journey remains unpredictable. Whether he chooses redemption or self-destruction, Yellowstone continues to deliver powerful stories of family, loyalty, betrayal and the search for personal identity.